Well, 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 here we are once again talking about X Defiant. It's almost a year later now, and originally this game was supposed to come out last summer, and here we are, it's a year later, and the game is still not released. But you may be wondering by the title of this when and how you can play it, and that is actually happening this weekend. They aren't doing an alpha or beta, they're doing a server test, which lends us to believe that the game is closer to launch than we previously would have thought. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over what is X Defiant, why you should check it out, and then we are going to dive in and I'm going to explain how you can get your hands on this game, when you can play it, through what times, and believe it or not, it's this weekend, starting out tomorrow. So if you want to check out this game, it is a good time to do so. But first, before we dive into that, let's first go over what is X Defiant. The best way for me to describe this, I think, is it's a combination of Call of Duty and Overwatch. It is a first-person shooter, and as far as it goes, it feels a lot like a really arcadey version of Call of Duty. There's various different game modes, whether you want to play Team Deathmatch or a more team-oriented game where, for example, you have to push a cart, kind of like Team Fortress 2, along rails and move throughout a map. There's a lot of these really cool game modes, and that's why I kind of compare it to Overwatch as well. But on top of that, there's a bunch of different classes and special abilities that you can use. One of the most powerful that I found within the beta was one where you could regenerate your health faster and heal your team as well. Very, very powerful. But a lot of these abilities are very, very powerful as well. Now, why is it worth checking this game out? Well, if you're like me and a lot of other people, some of you may be sick of Call of Duty, but you love first person shooters. You get a really good weapons feel in this game because believe it or not, this game is made by prior Call of Duty developers, Mark Rubin kind of leading the team, but is published by Ubisoft. Now, a lot of people are skeptical about Ubisoft, but the one thing that I will say about this game is it is free to play. So I would expect a lot of microtransactions, but at the same time, it is free to play. So if you compare it to Call of Duty, there's a lot of microtransactions in that, and it is not free to play. So just a little comparison there. Now, like Call of Duty, there's also weapon leveling. You can put attachments on your weapons. There's weapon camos that you can get by grinding throughout weapons, getting headshots, things along those lines. If you've played Call of Duty a lot and you know what it's all about, you're getting a lot of those things in X Defiant. And I'm curious to see how that carries over because it's been like nine months since we played this game. So I'm really interested to see what they have changed. And based off of the rumors and leaks that we've seen, they're trying to make this game more and more like Call of Duty. That's what the developers are stating behind the scenes. And whether or that not that's a good thing at this point, I don't know. Now, as far as how you can play this. Now, the server test is going live tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is available on Xbox Series X and S, PC, and PlayStation 5. So if you want to call it that, only on next-gen consoles or PC. At this point, they're kind of the current gen. I'm guessing that we're probably going to be getting upgraded versions of these this year and probably in a year or two from now, maybe even new consoles. So unfortunately, if you're on the old consoles, you're not going to be able to play this. There were rumors that it was going to eventually be coming out for those, but I haven't seen anything about that since the beta so you think you might be out of luck if you're still playing on those now if you're wanting to play tomorrow maybe you have bad internet you can preload the game now now you can do this on everything on pc you have to do it via ubisoft connect so you download it and then have an account or make an account and then you can download this absolutely for free now you're going to know that you have the right version when it states that it is the x defiant server test so if you downloaded the beta like a year ago i think it was nine months ago and you played it then you can delete that you're never going to be back on that beta file this is now going to be a brand new file i believe it's around 30 gigabytes and it is going to be the server test also different than the full launch game which is going to be free to play but it is completely different. It is just for this weekend, as far as we know. Maybe they'll do another weekend a month from now or something if they need to iron some things out, but that is what is going on here. Now, you may be wondering, what do you get for doing this? Does your level carry over? What is going on with that? So what I will say is your level does not carry over. So if you level up all the way, it sounds like the top level is going to be level 18 within this. If you level up all the way to 18, you don't get to bring your level 18 character into the full launch of the game but you do get some items for playing so 
first of all, if you just play in the playtest servers, you automatically get a Shamrock MP5 skin. So we kind of seen this with Call of Duty. If you play with a party, you get the Ember MP9 weapon skin. And finally, if you hit the top level, which is 18, you are going to get three weapon XP boosts. So just like Call of Duty, when we get the double weapon XP boost, you get three of these. They haven't stated how long they last yet, but it's gonna allow you to level up your weapons faster, unlock attachments faster, things along those lines just like we've seen in Call of Duty. But again, your level and anything that you complete during this weekend will not carry over to the launch of the game. Now, speaking of the launch of the game, when is it coming out? Well, they haven't given us a date yet, and I'm guessing it's very dependent on how well the playtest goes this weekend. If the servers run well, the game runs well, and people are enjoying it, I would guess it would come out sooner than later. But based off of some leaks that we've seen, they are planning for summer 2024. In other words, this summer now that can range vastly from june all the way until september i would be willing to bet they're not going to be aiming for september because at that point the next call of duty game is going to be coming out those end of the year games that come out every single year will be coming out and it will just be kind of pushed to the wayside so a really good time for this would be in june now we do know that the next call of duty game is going to be announced in early June. So they're probably gonna want to avoid that because they don't want hype taken away from their game. So my guess would either be they'll do May or they will do end of June, early July. The other thing that's rumored for June is that all of the Call of Duty games may potentially be coming to Game Pass, which again could erode people playing this game because if those are essentially free to play on Game Pass, it will take players away from another first person shooter, which in this case is X Defiant. Now, one other reason why you may want to check out this game is unlike Call of Duty, there is no skill-based matchmaking. Yes, there is going to be ranked play, but within normal public matches, there is no skill-based matchmaking, which is a very big pull for this game and one thing a lot of people are talking about. Now, if you haven't played X Defiant, you may be wondering what is going to be in this playtest. I'm guessing it is going to be very, very similar to the modes and weapons and characters and abilities that we saw within the beta. There were 24 different weapons, a bunch of different characters, a ton of maps in this already within the beta. And they kind of stated when the game comes out, it is more or less the beta with maybe one or two other maps. So I wouldn't expect to see anything crazy that we haven't seen in the beta coming out this weekend. So I wouldn't go too wild there. Again, what they are doing this for is to test the servers. This is something they're doing pre-launch so that when the game actually fully comes out, people don't just bomb the servers and no one can play it. That is why they are testing this. So if everything goes well, full launch summer, but I'm going to be playing this weekend and yeah, this isn't Call of Duty. I don't normally upload other games other than Call of Duty. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like this one, maybe other games too, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you want to see more videos that aren't Call of Duty, we can do more stuff like this on the channel. It's just up to you guys. If you like the Call of Duty videos, of course, those are going to still be coming out. But of course, if you want to see more, let me know. Not let me know. We are, we are dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust Search for you, stay alive